What is going on guys? Welcome to your third Java game development tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be building a window and a screen to put all our images and graphics on. Now this is usually the first thing you do when building a game in Java. And there are three pretty much types of different games you can build. You can build a Windows screen that appears like a windowed application on, uh, well, Windows. Or you can make something called an applet that runs pretty much on a website or from a web server and you can also build a full screen game and full screen games are once you know how to do these you know how to do everything else so I'm going to be teaching you how to build full screen games so what we're going to be doing is pretty much going into the graphics card and taking over this whole entire screen so much so that you can't even see this bottom toolbar at the bottom and this is how pretty much all games like World of Warcraft um, Modern Warfare, all your first person shooters pretty much every cool computer game does this so that's why we're doing that and another thing whenever I try to run uh, my full screen it won't appear because my screen recorder is only recording this and the full screen is going to appear on top of that so what I did is I had to whenever I run the full screen I had to capture it and this is pretty much where we're going to be building I can't show this to you because when I run it and it appears on full screen but this is going to symbolize the full screen what I have to do is actually run it and then take a picture of it using my print screen on my keyboard and then just show you guys right there so without further ado let's learn how to do this so as you see I already imported J Java AWT and Java Swing JFrame for pretty much our appearance and the first thing I want to do is put private graphics device and then I want to put VC or you can name it whatever you want and what this graphics device is it pretty much gives you an interface to your video card so now with this VC variable we can access the graphics card or video card and what your graphics card is if you don't know if you're not familiar with building computers it's it's like the thing that puts the picture on your screen so you have your computer screen called your monitor and this pretty much processes all the stuff to shoot images and stuff on your screen so if you control this you pretty much can control your uh, monitor or screen on your computer so that's why we need this I name mine VC for video card so we won't get mixed up and now after this let's go ahead and build our constructor since I named my class screen for you know obvious reasons let's go ahead and name public screen it is not going to take any parameters and the first thing we're going to want to do is this now this is probably going to be the only confusing thing what I'm about to say in order to use this VC variable we need to go through something called the graphics environment and what this graphics environment does is we're going to call a method that says get local graphics environment and it's pretty much a collection of all your graphics device objects and this isn't really important for now you're understand this later but let's go ahead and go graphics environment hopefully I spelled it right env and let's see if I did and set it equal to I'm gonna have to type this real slow because I can't mess it up graphics uh, graphics environment dot get yeah there we go thank god for that get local graphics environment and you can see if I scroll that over right there and make sure you type this now I can explain graphics environment env this is pretty much your environment variable and again like I said this is all your graphics device objects not just your screen so now that we have that we can use that env object to well we just need that env object that's all I'm gonna tell you for now so you don't get confused next we can set this VC object to something set it equal to env or else your environment object get default screen device now what I just did is pretty much this when we get our environment and then we use it to get access to the get default screen device we now have access to our computer screen so now we can take over this whole entire screen and make full screen games we can you know we can do whatever we want with the entire screen so instead of just the window we now have access to the entire graphics card and entire monitor on our computer how cool is that 
So now that we have access to it, let's go ahead and write a method to actually change our view to full screen. So let's go ahead and see if I have time for this. Public void set full screen. You can actually name your method whatever you want. I'm going to name mine set full screen. And it's going to take two parameters display mode. And I'm going to name this something like DM. And what the display mode is, is it takes four parameters two for your resolution which is um, X by Y your bit depth which pretty much means how many colors you can store and it's a little more than that but it's pretty much that and your refresh rate and your refresh rate is how many times your monitor refreshes itself although this looks like one solid image it's actually your monitors shooting new pixels about 75 times um, every second so yeah well, that's that. So this is what your display mode is. Pretty much your monitor settings. And now, other than this, it's going to take the parameter J frame and just name that variable window or something like that. And now we can do cool stuff to that window. What we're going to be actually doing is building a window and converting this little window to full screen. So, you know, first we want to do a couple stuff to the window. We want to do window dot set undecorated and we want to set this equal to true we do not want this window decorated at all and what decorated means is title bars at the top and scroll bars on the side we don't want any of those so we want to set undecorated to true which pretty much gets rid of everything besides just the image inside the next thing we want to do is make sure that the can't resize it so window set resizable right there and we want to set this equal to false and this means when we make it full screen, it's going to be full screen. You're not going to be able to mess with our size any. And let me check my time right there. And now after this, what we can do is go ahead and actually take the parameter, take that window, and convert it to full screen. And here's what we do. Now that we have access to our video card or graphics card, and it has control over the whole window, go ahead and type VC, and we can call methods on it. One of the methods is we want to take that graphics card and set full screen window. Now, this is a built in method, and whatever we put in as parameters is going to convert that to full screen. So, let's take that window right there. And what this is doing is this it's going to take that window that we just built, and no matter what size it is, it's going to convert it to a full screen window to take over your whole monitor. No matter what the size of your monitor is, it's going to set it to full screen. And the next thing we want to have to do after this is build one other little method if I have time. And actually, I don't think I'm going to, so I'm going to have to tell you guys in the next tutorial. But in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how pretty much you can check if, well, you'll see in the next tutorial what I'm going to do. It's a little... Um, lengthy to explain right now but don't forget to check it out we are well on our way to setting our window and once we have this um kind of housekeeping stuff done we can begin getting into the good stuff so thank you guys for watching and don't forget i'll see you next tutorial so don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you then